What we just heard was a fanfare. Short pieces of music typically played at the beginning of important royal and social functions. A very good evening to our wonderful audience present here today. The Indian Navy is proud to present the Indian Naval Band in concert. On behalf of the Flag Officer Commanding Goa Naval Area, Rear Admiral Philippos George Pinamutin, Ati Vishish Seva Medal, Nausena Medal, I, Lieutenant Commander Rohan, and I, Lieutenant Commander Aisha, welcome you all to this evening's function. I would also like to extend a very warm welcome to our Chief Guest this evening, Admiral Arun Prakash. We also have some very special guests from the French Navy with us this evening. And on behalf of Rear Admiral Philippos George Pinamutin, I welcome them to witness the Indian Navy Band in concert. Madame et Monsieur, et chers amis, nous sommes heureux de vous côté entre nous ce soir. De la part de Rear Admiral Philippos George Pinamutin, je suis très honoré pour vous accueillir ici pour écouter le concert de la bande de la Marine Indienne. This evening's program is a testimony to the many musical victories this band of brothers has achieved. Their music has captured the hearts and minds of people both in India and abroad. We now hand over to Mrs. Sunita Rodriguez to sail us through this wonderful musical journey. She is a chef by profession, a master of ceremonies by passion, and has had a long association with the Indian Navy. Please welcome her with a loud round, a loud round of applause. Well, thank you, Lieutenant Commander Rohan and Lieutenant Commander Aisha, and good evening, everybody. Good evening, uh, my name is Sunita Rodericks, and I am so privileged and honored to be here today. Thank you, all of you, for making it here today for the event of the season. One that we all wait for in anticipation, and one that never ceases to exceed our expectations. The Indian Naval Symphony Band in concert. We have a very exciting selection of songs lined up for you today, performed by the best of the best hand-picked artists from the Indian Navy. It is my pleasure and privilege to introduce you to this fabulous group of performers. Ladies and gentlemen, may I request you to just give them a huge round of applause as they stand up. We have Subhash Rana and Akhil Opi. <laughs> On the oboe, we have P. Banerjee and T.S. Ghosh. <laughs> On the clarinet, we have Roshan Thapa, W.H. Makandar, D.B. Prakash, K. Guru Murthy, V. Alexander, Rupam Roy, Yardan Chauhan, Abhinash Kamath, Abhishek Paul, and Vishikesh K.S. Give them a big round of applause. On the alto sax, we have Kondala Rao, P.U. Rao, Shivant Rana. On the tenor sax, we have Kushal Yolmo, Joe Aryan, Abhijit Biyar. On the French horn, Godwin Benny, Rahul, Tajan Purim. On the cornet, D. Faisal, Anthony Jose, Shishir Gautam, Walter Jeskin, David Andrews, Saura Viswakarma, Manopreet Singh, and Abhishek Pariyar. On the tenor trombone, ladies and gentlemen, we have Pradeep Kumar Gurung, Francis Devia, Vijay Thapa, Sambandh Lama, Anthony Rafael, Premal Lama, Harrison Kaku Karuma. On the bass trombone, we have Sachin John Deepa K. On the bass, we have Swara K.S., Rahul Babu, T.L. Jerin Lai, Premjit Maiti, Ranjit Ji, Arjindar Singh. On euphonium, Nidin Govindan, Pala Mondal, and on Basul, M.K. Rao and Vishnu S. A big round of applause for them. What an amazing audience you are. On the last and final row on percussions, we have S.I. Singh, Shubham Birade, D.K. Pal, Vishnu Vijay. On the xylophone, Anandu A. On the keyboard and the kita, Abhishek Pariyar. On the keyboard, Jasuin Jason. 
on the bass guitar from all Rai, on lead guitar Rahul Pradhan, and on double bass D R Chaudhary. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Well, and I can speak in chef terms, like the master chef. There has to be somebody who puts all this together. Please put it together for the conductor, Prasanto Naskar, Master Chief Musician. And the principal conductor, the man responsible for bringing this band to the level that it is today. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Commander Vijay Charles de Cruz. Commander de Cruz has had a love affair with music from a very young age of 8 years. He spent 21 years with this naval band. Stay on stage Commander de Cruz, we all want to admire you. 8 years as Director of Music for the Indian Navy, a proud Goan from Nashinola and from Saligao. With music in his blood, he plays the clarinet, the violin, sings a powerful tenor with various musical compositions and arrangements to his name. Ladies and gentlemen, please once again welcome Let Commander Vijay Charles Thank you. Well, with that, we move on to the first score for tonight. This is a quick march titled INS India. A um, march music, ladies and gentlemen, originates from the military and marches are usually played by a marching band. The most important instruments are various drums, especially the snare drum, horns, thief or woodwind instruments and brass instruments. Marches and marching bands have even today a strong connection to the military, both to drill and parades. Marches which are, which are placed at the pace and multiples of normal heartbeat, get this, can have a hypnotic effect on the marching soldiers, rendering them into a trance. And this effect was widely known already in the 16th century and was employed to lead the soldiers in closed ranks against the enemy fire in the 16th and the 17th century wars. Presenting to you the first score for tonight, INS India, compiled and arranged by Jerome Rodericks and conducted by P. Naskar, Master Chief Musician. Please give them a big round of applause in welcome.
gentlemen, you really are a wonderful crowd. Well, the next number is a peppy concert march called Pradetsky. The style of this traditional symphony march can be traced back to symphonic pieces from the Renaissance area where such pieces were written for nobility. Pradetsky March is a march composed by John Strauss Sr. and dedicated to Field Marshal Joseph Pradetsky von Radetzky. It was first performed on the 31st of August in 1848 in Vienna. It soon became very popular among regiment marching soldiers and it has been noted that its tone is more celebratory than martial. Strauss was commissioned to write this piece to commemorate Radetzky's victory at the Battle of Kustosa. Presenting to you the concert march Radetzky, composed by J. Strauss, arranged by Lorendio, and conducted by Chief Petty Officer Musician Roshan Thapa. Please give him a big round of welcome. musician wants more than food it is applause and appreciation so they're doing a fabulous job give them another round of applause everyone all right our next score is called joyful skeleton and the xylophone is what is going to be used in this score the word xylophone is derived from the ancient Greek word zulon, meaning wood, and phone, meaning sound, which literally translates into sound of wood. And it's a musical instrument in the percussion family that consists of wooden bars struck by mallets. Like the glossenspiel, the xylophone essentially consists of a set of tuned keys 
arranged in the fashion of the keyboard for piano. The term xylophone may be used generally to include all such instruments such as the marimba, the balafon, and even the samantron. However, in orchestra, the term xylophone refers specifically to the chromatic instrument of a somewhat higher pitch range and a dire, drier timber than the marimba. Ladies and gentlemen, bringing to you joyful skeleton on the xylophone, I'd like to introduce you to our xylophonist, Anandu A. Give him a big round of applause. Well, we did promise something different. Come on, keep the applause coming till he reaches the xylophone. We've got to keep our skeleton joyful. This is a song composed by W.G. Lemo. Arranged by W.J. Detroit. And the piece will be conducted by P. Nasker, Master Chief Musician. Please give them a big round of applause. I promise this is going to be a treat.
seats at a happy moonwalking skeleton before you know you crowd of applause. Ananda A and P Master Master Chief Musician. That was absolutely a treat. Our next number is titled Baby Elephant Walk. Baby Elephant Walk is a song that was composed by Henry Mancini for the 1962 film Hatari. The instrumental earned Mancini a Grammy for the best instrumental arrangement in 1963. The tune was written for an impromptu scene in which Dallas, the lead protagonist, led three baby elephants to a water hole to bathe. Brass instruments including repeated blasts from the tuba and woodwind elements are combined to convey a large and plodding elephant toddler that is filled with the exuberance of youth. Mancini used a Calliope introduction to suggest the sound of a circus. A cheeky medley is then played over this on a clarinet. Arranged by John, John Edmondson and conducted by Chief Petty Officer Musician Roshan Thapa. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you Henry Mancini's Baby Elephant Walk. Well, the next, the next score is titled The Folk Tunes of Western India. Indian folk music is diverse because of India's vast cultural diversity. It is sung in various languages and dialects throughout the length and breadth of this vast nation and exported to different parts of the world owing to migration. Popular folk dances from Gujarat comprise of the Garba, Dandiaras, Tipani, from Maharashtra, we have Lavani, Nakata, Koli, Lejim. And from Goa, probably needs no introduction, but there are over 15 folk dances, some of which are Tarangmel, Koli, Dekni, Fugadi, Gode Modni, Zagar, just to name a few. Presenting to you, ladies and gentlemen, the folk tunes of Western music, composed and arranged by Commander de Cruz, comprising of medleys that have spanned all the way from Gujarat to Goa. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Petty Officer Musician W.H. Makandar to conduct the same.
Now tell me the truth, how many of you are actually dancing in your seats? Alright, give them a big round of applause everyone. Familiar tunes there for everybody in this crowd. Well, our next piece takes us all the way to Hawaii and it is titled Aloha. Aloha is a Hawaiian folk song written in 1878 by Lilio Kalani, who was then the princess of the Hawaiian kingdom. It is her most famous song and is a common cultural symbol for Hawaii. The word Aloha means welcome, it means farewell, but mostly it is popular and it is associated with love and friendship. The song was inspired by a notable farewell embrace given by Colonel James Harbottle Boyd during a horseback trip taken by Princess Lilio Kalani in 1878 to the Boyd Ranch in Maunawili on the windward side of Oahu. And the members of the party hummed to this tune all the way back to Honolulu. The Hawaii State Archive preserves a handwritten manuscript by Lilio Kalani with the score of the song and the lyrics. The popularity of this song spread, however, after it was played for the Royal Hawaiian Band by the Royal Hawaiian Band in San Francisco in the August of 1883. The music for the score has been arranged by H.G. Spotswood and it's going to be conducted by none other than Commander Vijay de Cruz. <coughs> Give him a big round of applause as he comes up, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I have a special treat for you today. This song on the vocals, we have a beautiful young nightingale of Goa, Ines Barros. I'd like to invite her on stage. Ines is a trained soprano, trained with the world-renowned opera singer Alan Seymour, and has performed at the Bangalore Chamber Choir and even for celebrities like Priyanka Gandhi. Ladies and gentlemen, with a beauteous Beauty, beautiful, melodious voice. Please put it together for Ines Barros with Princess Vicky Okalani's Allah.
give them a huge round of applause. That is beautiful. We were literally transported to the beaches of Hawaii. Well, the next song, we're going to go to Italy. It's a Neapolitan song called O Sole Mio. O Sole Mio is a well-known Neapolitan song written in 1898 and translates literally to my son or my sunshine. Its lyrics were written by Giovanni Capuro and the music was composed by Eduardo Di Capua and Alfredo Mazzucci. O Sole Mio has been performed and covered by many artists for nearly 75 years after its publication, including Enrico Caruso, Andre Bocelli and Luciano Pavarotti, the latter of whom won the 1980 Grammy Award for the best classical vocal performance for his rendition of this song. The music of O Sole Mio has generally been attributed to Eduardo Di Capua alone, and according to the traditional account, Di Capua composed it in the April of 1898 in Odessa while touring with his father's band. To sing this song with a naval band, ladies and gentlemen, to conduct this song first, I'd like to invite Commander Vijay De Cruz, give him a big round of applause once again. And we have another nightingale of Goa, who I'm going to invite on stage to sing this song. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Nadia Rubello. From a musical background, Nadia began a career in music on stage at an early age of 15. She's a full-fledged Portuguese father singer. She released her debut album in 2015 and has performed in Portugal and all over India and sings in various genres of music. Ladies and gentlemen, like a breath of sunshine, Nadia Rubello with the naval band and Commander Vijay de Cruz with O Sole Mio.
They were the first Australian pop music group to achieve major chart sales success in the United Kingdom and the United States. The Best of the Seekers was released in UK in 1968 on the breakup of the band. The band consists of Judith Durham, Athol Guy, Keith Potcher and Bruce Woodley. The album was so successful that it spent 117 weeks on the top 50 UK album chart including six weeks at number one. It was the 17th biggest selling album in the 1960s in the UK. Today's medley comprises of a selection of songs from I'll Never Find Another You, A World of Our Own, The Carnival Is Over, Someday, One Day, Walk With Me, We Shall Not Be Moved, Morning Town Ride, When Will The Good Apples Fall, Island of Dreams, Open Up Them Pearly Gates, Emerald City and Georgie Girl. Believe me, you will find a familiar song in this medley. Presenting to you the best of the Seekers, music composed and arranged by Trevor L. Sharp and conducted today by Commander Vijay De Cruz. Please give them a huge round of applause. 